Bicker Boys or Sway and King Tech? Damn, Eric V is in the GGL too. He played with me. He and my crew. They all legends, by the way. I'm going to go with Baker Boys, cuz. I'm going with that Latino culture. F off. Baker Boys. Baker Boys. Baker Boys. Baker Boys. Baker Boys. Baker Boys. Welcome to the Baker Boys Daily Show. Of course, Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose, we're all up in here. And we're going to be recording Friday and Monday show, plus K-Day, plus the mix shows, guys. So hang out with us for a little while behind the scenes. All right, so uh, Nick V, you ready to start it off? You guys doing Baker Bus? Yep. It is a feel-good Friday. We are the Baker Boys. Ari Rose is in the building. You guys got some Baker Buzzes coming up around the corner. Yes, apparently there's multiple Diddy documentaries in the works, but 50 Cent is saying, eh, 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 not too fast. Mine's going to be the only one that's going to be good. Wait a minute. He's got the rights to Diddy? No. Come on, bro. He's got, he's got the money to get the best content for sure. All right, we'll anyway, see. Lizzo talked about quitting music. She's clarifying what she meant when she says, I quit on the post. So we'll talk about that coming up in the Baker Buzz, y'all. Why is that music bag going? What music? Is the music. music bag going? I can't. Who, I can't, t- uh, who I, turned it on? I did, but I don't. I don't have. I don't have. Um, I don't have headphones. Headphones, bro. Okay, so, so just leave the music beds off. Yes. Well, I had. We don't know. We don't need them right now. So we did it for the intro. We're gonna do it over. Here yes, we go. Yes, we're doing it again. That was a test run. So feel good Friday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. All Baker right. Bus coming right around the corner. What's going down? Yeah, multiple Diddy documentaries are reportedly in the works, but 50 Cent says the big one is coming soon. The big one. <laughs> and Lizzo wants to explain about what she meant when she said, I quit music. All right, so we'll talk about that. That's coming up at the Baker Buzz. It is the Baker, it is the Baker Boys on a feel good Friday, y'all. I did Farmer's Market in Via, via Pasadena in 1990s. That's right. Wow. <laughs> so feel good Friday uh, with okay. the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. All Baker right. Bus coming right around the corner. What's going down? All right. This is National Days. Yeah, let me go to this real quick. All right. Uh, I got it. It's the Baker Boys on a Feel Good Friday. What is today's National Day, Eric? Well, Ari said she wasn't a fan of this. National Deep Dish Pizza Day. I don't mind it. Yeah. I, uh, it's a lot of bread. Yeah. It is a lot of bread. I'll take a regular, like, thin crust New York style pizza slice. Mm, okay. All right. All right. Well, it's go get your deep dish on, guys. Feel Good Friday, Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. What's going on with your Baker Buzz? Apparently, multiple Diddy documentaries are in the works following all these federal raids. But 50 Cent is saying, nope, not too fast. The big one is coming soon. And also, uh, Lizzo had a what had happened was moment. So we're going to talk about what she said when she meant that she was quitting music. And she's going to clarify a little something. So she's not quitting music? We're going to let you clear. We're going to let we're going to let her speak on it. It's one or two jams. 100% throwbacks. Attention. It's the Baker Stop eating from pizza. Hollywood the hell? No way. It's a feel good Friday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose. Now we got some Lizzo news and we also got some Diddy Fitty news. Yes, we yeah. got to start with the Diddy Fitty, the, the Diddler news. Okay. <laughs> so following the high profile federal raids at Diddy's LA and Miami homes, of course people are interested in trying to get their hands on, you know, these documentaries Documents, going. videos. I mean, there's just, all, it's all over YouTube already. There's thousands and thousands of content created. Oh my God, based so around much. this. Diddy is the hottest ticket in town literally right Listen. now. You can't even pay to get into his <laughs> And you know who's cashing out right now is 50. 50 is apparently, and you know, 50's been working on his documentary on Diddy. They've had like a decade long of like a rivalry or like whatever. He's been rivalry with Forever. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Not just Diddy. So yeah. industry insiders reveal that at least five production companies are actively pursuing the story, reaching out to individuals connected to Diddy's world, including former associates, dancers, executives, and collaborators. Wow. The documentaries aim to delve into various aspects of Diddy's life from his business, dealing to personal relationships, allegations, and lawsuits. Um, the news sites notes that among potential documentaries, ABC ABC News Studios is already working on a project for Hulu Ooh. with more in the pipeline from UK based production houses. ABC or Hulu has yet to publicly confirm or deny this. In the meantime, of course, we already know my boo 50 Cent is already soft promoting his allegedly Diddy doc. And he's been talking about it. It's called Diddy Do It. Diddy Do It. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to definitely be getting a documentary. And there's so much more that I'm going to catch you guys up on later on. Yeah, on more next. Diddy news is yes. going to be coming yes, up. Okay. Come up so later. let's talk about Lizzo. 
though. So last week uh, she posted a video that said she's, she's quitting music. She's fed up. She's done with everybody talking mess to her and all that. Well, she kind of backtracked a little bit. So let's listen to her explanation of what she meant when she meant when she posted, I quit. Just leave it at that. We'll just have a natural reaction. Nick's dragging that over here. Yeah, so in no way, the gist shape of it, or so form. let her hear the gist of it so you guys can have oh, it. Did you hear it, Ari? Uh, I heard a little piece. You could just let it run like maybe like just form. five See. seconds. Am I the only person? Yo, thank you, uh, Adam, for that thousand bits. It's his that birthday. Negative hey, happy birthday, bro. voice that seems to be louder than the positive. If I can just give one person the inspiration or motivation to stand up for themselves and say they quit letting negative people win okay Whew. all right got it means more than you know well there you are there's lizzo in her own words saying she's not quitting music she's quitting listening to people and outside sources telling her about her weight or this or that or even inside sources because you know we we have a lot of negative talk upon ourselves all Absolutely. the time you know we're our own Biggest, worst critics yeah. yeah but it's also coming from the outside sources so don't let the outside in is what she's saying you know and i love that she did come out and say that but i don't believe that that's what she meant when she said it i think she really? was very frustrated i think in her right i mean who else wouldn't say as a human being i quit, quit. i'm over I'm this over yeah um but then i think you know the the backlash and i'm pretty sure her contract people and her label <laughs> probably came after and like uh, 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 what you mean you quit you can't put that type of stuff out so i think there was probably things that happen on the back end, but I'm so happy to hear her say that, hey, let me turn this, even if I didn't mean it like that, let me turn and pivot and let people know, like, you can quit being bullied, you can quit being, yeah. you know, a victim of certain things. It's always best to just lock out the outside. Who cares? Absolutely. Like I said, unless somebody's paying my bills and keeping my lights on and paying for all my subscriptions, you have nothing to do with me, bro. <laughs> nothing. Paying your no subscription. Power. And that's your big <laughs> buzz, guys. Just got to take away his HBO card. Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find out SF. if we're live on, uh, what's it called right now? YouTube Shorts right now. Two SF locals here. My phone is down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Let's see here. Good. Oh, here's the live. Let me see. Why wow. Are we not on? I really don't have no SF stuff. Well, Can anybody okay. check and see if we're on live on um, YouTube? Mm -hmm. We should be. So this is where we need a music bed, Nick, while we're laxed out right now, right? Uh, sure. Yeah, it says live. Oh. We're live. Let me see. How, where'd you find it? I went to make a voice from Nick Vidal. You have to go. You can't look at it. Oh, you can't go from your own? Okay. No. Hold on. All right. So I got a little random one. Let me see. All right. Where do you go? All Live, right. Nick? I want to see the chat. That's what I'm saying. Oh, um, you got to go from a different channel. I'm on a different channel, bro. Go to, go to the Make a Voice channel then. Okay. Um, Type in search. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Nope. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. You have a couple of different ones. Uh, hold on, guys. We're checking this out. All right. So here, here you go. No, no, I'm good. I'm gonna do it on my, on my phone, so, okay. so I can so I can respond to the chat here. All right. We're the only ones in there. <laughs> <It's a laughs> I'm just letting you know who we had chat to you right quick. Okay, <laughs> I see it. I see it. I'm good. good. I'm good now. Right. I just want to. Yo, what up, Roger? See, somebody else is in here. Roger. Roger J. Uh, Cabanas. 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 Sorry, Roger. I yeah. countered you out. Yeah, Roger. <laughs> Jeez. See, Nick was like, oh, we only here by ourselves. All right, so <laughs> SF Logo. Ari, say you got something? Yeah, I got something. It's a feel good Friday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose. It's 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. Throwbacks. <laughs> How much do you think we need to be able to buy a house in California? Oh, God. Don't even. No, uh, come on. <laughs> I don't even want to go down this it's route. Too early for this one point five million dollars. Well, it depends no. on the level where you want to live, as far as like the style of house and the neighborhood, right? Because mm -hmm. I think it's going to take anywhere from eight hundred thousand to a million dollars. 
Okay, but it, like, how much do you need to make to, to make. afford a home? Oh, yeah. at one point five million dollars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got you to <laughs> make nothing change. You got to make double. Well, according to a new analysis by Bankrate, you need a household income of one hundred ninety-seven thousand dollars and. A hundred ninety-seven thousand fifty-seven dollars. Oh, so two hundred thousand dollars a year. Two hundred thousand dollars a year for a typical medium-priced home in the Golden State. And uh, let me let you know, the top five places are California. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, second is Hawaii at one hundred eighty-five. So they're right behind us. D.C. Washington D.C. one sixty-seven. Massachusetts one sixty-two. And Washington State one fifty-six. Wow. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Very crazy. This is why I live in my car. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are cheaper. You guys could catch me from different places. Of <laughs> the, the, the share ride areas. I'm just creeping all over the city. We I can, ain't paying nothing. Hey, we can just pull up anywhere, right? <laughs> well, actually, I'm in the Tesla, so just catch me at the Tesla charging Man. stations that I'm sleeping. At this point, on how much it costs to buy a house, I might as well buy me a little box and put me in the mountain somewhere. You're good, homie. You like one of those Listen. little pre-made, prefabbed houses the Tesla makes or all these other country uh, companies. Might as well go with that. Listen, like being in real estate, I'm not going to lie. I used to always say, why do people move out of California? Yeah. The more I am I dive more into real it's estate, so I expensive. start seeing these beautiful homes in different states yep. for like three, four hundred thousand dollars I'm like, it doesn't sound so bad after all. Right. <laughs> Change my area code. I'm out of here. Listen. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Texas. <laughs> no, straight, no state tax. No state tax, right? Well, yep. Florida doesn't have state tax either. Oh, yep. man. But it's crazy out Where there. Where y'all moving to? I know, dude. Escape California, huh? It's 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. We love it here. Nick V, what's in your cup? Which coffee today? Today, Richard Kimball, I am... In love with love potion number nine. Love potion number nine. That's one of the ones. He gave me like five pounds of coffee. <laughs> he did? I am good for the rest of the century. For the year? <laughs> yeah. All right, what are we, where are we, we at? two SF locals. Didn't we just do SF locals? We just did one. We just did one, bro. Oh, okay. Huh? Um, let me see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, uh, I got a question. Okay. okay. Hey guys. Let's go. Well, okay. That's fine. We can do it on the air. Let's do it. <laughs> yep. It is 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks with the Baker Boys in the morning. The, uh, the week is here, man. It's Feel Good Friday. It here. is. And we got some mouth love coming up today. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. I'm going to try to find my, my I'm going to try to find God in this conversation oh. right now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, right. Okay, so recently we allowed uh, Ari Rose access to our Instagram. Okay. Oh, God. And we've been cleaning it up and cleaning yep. it up and all this. It's those... taken forever. You know, it only lets me do like 125 at a time. Okay, right. so. Then it locks me out. I did my best on my side to clear out things that we uh-huh. don't need to be following but also the search the search is where a lot of the truth comes in (laughs) and i cleaned it up to where it was food and it was dj stuff and Uh it's like uplifting stuff and i got rid of all the booty and all the a right and all that stuff but guess what's (laughs) creeping back into our search engine ari rose what What? show me what do you see why is there so much booty oh i don't know i'm not searching there's only three of us that have access i'm not searching i'm just i search for that on my own time bro i (laughs) I just who, wanted to ask everybody uh, who up front. Is looking at the booty? Uh, exactly. So here's what uh, I have I look to do. I at that on my own page. Every time there's That's a, a big, nice butt. It is a nice That's butt. That's a beautiful but butt. <laughs> every time that there's a booty picture, I go to not interested <laughs> and do not suggest anything from her. There you go. Boom. And I keep it going. So oh, I'm gonna, that's a nice butt, too. Check back in with me next <laughs> Friday to let me know. <laughs> that was a really nice butt in those pictures. I know, too, but she's got to go. Okay. So this is a part of the cleanup of the Instagram, right? Yeah. So this is my job. This is what I'm doing on my side. And Ooh, if look it, at that butt. Hey, <laughs> if these bu- are, So are you sure, Ari, you're not the one looking? No, it's not but me. now I'm looking like Jesus. I'm telling you, I need to go don't do look. some more squats. So listen, everybody. I make sure if mm-hmm. I look for a certain female, I'm doing it on my own page. Are you sure? Thousand percent. Can you stop right. tapping that finger? Thousand percent. Yeah, he <laughs> sounds a little guilty over there. I don't know. No, I'm, po- I'm proving a point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, check back in next Friday. We're going to find out what the search looks like on the Baker Boys Instagram yes. because if the booty's back, <laughs> somebody in here is lying. All right? It's not me. It's one of two jams, 100% <laughs> throw back, 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 Maybe backs. it's your wife. Yeah, right. No, she doesn't have access, homie. All right. Uh, hour number two, top five. Let's tell me the day with the F news. Uh, let's let go. See. You, what do you got? Uh, I got, well, let's do something Rando about the story. eclipse. The, the eclipse. eclipse coming up. Okay. Oh, uh, I have a recap on that, um, but I want to stay on this chat. All right. So you're going to do that? Do yeah. you have something on that? Here we go. On the eclipse? Yeah. Okay. I got a bunch of eclipse stuff. It's it's hour number two, top of hour number two, Eric. Go ahead. Okay. 
The Baker Boys on a Feel Good Friday. Thank you guys for tuning on in. Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose up in here. Well, the eclipse is starting to make a lot of noise for us, and it's coming <laughs> yeah. up on Monday, April 8th. Yep. Um, it's going to be 1220 Central Time, okay? So wherever you're at, it's 1220 Central Time. Okay. Um, and so one of the things that people are asking now is, is it safe to eat during the eclipse? To eat safe during- to eat during the eclipse? <laughs> All right, hold on. We're going to talk <laughs> about this a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. This eclipse has got people going crazy. crazy. Stay tuned. Baker Boys. Boys Daily. Boys Daily. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Hey, man, it's the Baker Boys, Eric V, Nick V. And coming up, April 8th is the big eclipse, right? Yep. So everybody's concerned up. about this. I told you about the inmates, that they were going to give them safety goggles and all that stuff like that, or lock down no, the, they're, the they're, prison. Yeah, they're going to lock them up so they couldn't see yeah, the eclipse. Yeah, but aren't they filing a lawsuit? They're yeah, they filed a lawsuit. lawsuit. Yeah, they filed a lawsuit because they're like, hey, we have a right to look at the eclipse also. Right. They're citing religious beliefs. Yeah. Listen, so. well, now I guess people are starting to ask, is it safe to eat during the eclipse? <laughs> How stupid <laughs> Uh, this is coming from Americans, hey, right? Don't this call is, people stupid. This is probably from the same people that stocked up on toilet paper during, during the, pandemic. the pandemic. That was the most important thing for everybody. Like you couldn't find toilet paper nowhere, right? I remember. I think more, we all remember that. Just more fear. So the is, solar. Listen, hold on. Let me let me let you know. Do you want to know if it's safe to eat? Sure. No. Yeah. Why not? No. <laughs> I'm not even going to entertain this. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Order a pizza. Let's all eat. We're going to eat. It's going to be fine. Well, listen, you guys, since so many people were concerned, NASA wants to make sure that everyone understands that it is safe to eat during the eclipse. Yeah, they're the authority on all things space. Extensive research apparently, that NASA has well, done. Well, listen, apparently there's a ridiculous myth floating around social media suggesting that radiation from the sun will be so high that it will poison any food that's prepared during oh. the solar eclipse. Oh, wow. NASA says there's no truth to this myth, so go ahead and enjoy <laughs> your solar eclipse-themed foods. Yeah, what are you guys going to eat? That is during crazy. The I'm going to do a peanut butter and Nutella sandwich, kind of like wow. representing the eclipse. I'm going to do an eggs the clip lightning. sandwich. <laughs> eggs a what? Eggs clip sandwich. Oh, okay. Like eclipse sandwich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eggs clip. Eggs yeah. clip. Okay. Egg, eggs and chips? <laughs> eggs and clips, chips so, on the yeah, eclipse. So, anyways, so if guys. you guys were worried about eating during the eclipse, it's okay. Yep. You're because be NASA fine. said so. NASA said so. And hey. you know they don't lie. Hey, I trust NASA over TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's run by the same people. <laughs> Probably. That's is the first TikTok, actually. All right, moving on. Uh, what up, DJ? What up, Monty? Jeez, right. We're going to get a moon pie with sunflower seeds. Wow. All right, what's next? This oh. is going to be a basic bitch story. Basic bitch story. Let me see if I have something extra over like here. Like a girl chat? Yeah. Oh, it could uh, be no, a that, topic. That's for Wednesday. Let's it could be a topic doing. or oh, anything. Okay. Um, yeah, I got a what the F news. All right, well, let's How go about, with that then. Oh. Turn the music bed off. Oh, okay. It's a feel-good Friday with the Baker Boys here. Coming up, Nick V has a What the F News. Yes, right around the corner. Stay tuned because there is a woman that was declared dead, but she started breathing. Oh, hell In no. the coroner's office. Oh, oh, hell no. What the F News coming up next. Hold on. Possession. 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. Now, what would you do if you were in the coroner's office and all of a sudden a nah. woman that was supposed to be dead hello? started breathing? Are you there? Nah. Is anybody there? Did you say hello? Hello? Nah. <laughs> Two Ohio paramedics who mistakenly declared a woman dead have Jeez. been fired. Okay. Mm. Yeah, the Springfield, Ohio Township Board of Trustees voted to take action yesterday. The first responders were called for a possible overdose and found the victim mm. unresponsive inside the home during an early January call Damn. with an attentive. A pit bull. There was a pit bull sitting right by her side. You okay. love that. Yep. Right? The dog was finally removed after 40 minutes, allowing the medics to get close. So they didn't want to get close to her because of the pit bull, apparently. Okay, gotcha. At which point they noticed that the victim had no pulse and the coroner was called. Staff from the coroner's office, however, determined that the victim appeared to be trying to breathe. So they began CPR, administered, Nar- administered Narcan, and sent her to the hospital. She was alive. Ooh. Oh, but because whoa. they chose not to go next to the body for 40 minutes, oh. it's prob- yeah, yeah, it's their fault. So they were fired for it. What the hell? And the footage, whoa. the footage on their, their cams that they yeah. have footage yeah. is what really would, uh, turned them in. Because they looked back at it and it said, they lied basically and said she was dead. But she wasn't oh, dead, but they didn't even check. They, oh. Oh, There's your what the f news, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, feel good Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, feel good Friday. All right. It was like nothing even say about that. It was like a whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's what it's called. What the f news? All right, okay. so that's uh, radiation I doesn't increase SF during the eclipse. Let's talk about how I did a speaking of like corners and morgues. How we're listing a mortuary. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. 
It's a feel good Friday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose. 102 jams. 100% throwbacks. Don't forget later in the show, Nick V's bringing that feel good to us for the weekend. Yeah. He's got that mouth love. Yeah, yeah. So earlier we were talking about a woman that was declared dead yeah, at a corner, corner, but then all of a sudden she was breathing like 40 minutes later or something. I was, I was watching a movie uh, last night. I think I just told you. Um, what did I say? The Little Things. Oh, uh, Little Things, L- yeah. Little Things Denzel with Denzel Washington and mm-hmm. Jared uh, Leto in it. Yep. And I thought it was really good. And there's a scene where, like, um, they're, like, in the morgue or, you know, and the girl's face just kind of turns and she, like, wakes up. But obviously he's, like, seeing it. Yeah. And it reminded me of, like, I remember I called you last week and I said we're doing a listing. Yes. So I was at a, a listing property. appointment, right? My boss takes me or my business partner takes me to a listing appointment and it's a mortuary. Oh, boy. He was like, meet me here. We're going to do a listing for this property. And I was like, okay. And I pull <laughs> up and it's a freaking mortuary that we're doing a tour in. And um, the crazy thing is I had no idea. Like, they have such strict policies, which I... Thank God. But like you can't even get close to where like the little morgue area is where yeah. like they keep the bodies. But the doctor walks out. Well, you know, we're still like three feet away. Like we're not very close. Right. But we see the doctor walk out. And then the people who want to buy this property want to tour the freezer area, obviously. Mm-hmm. But their license and they have whatever they have to do. I don't know much. So to you listeners out there, I don't know anything about mortuaries and morgues or nothing like that. That's my disclosure. Uh, I just sell buildings. Yeah. <laughs> and so. <laughs> They, when the guy comes out, the, the owner says, oh, we need to do the tour. And he goes, oh, okay, hold on. I just got to, like, I'm working on someone, so I got to cover my mom. Oh. So I'm like, okay. So me and my business partner <laughs> look at each other. And so we take, like, four steps back, natural instinct. You know, we're yeah. like, we don't even want to. Yeah, we don't fun. need to like, go in there. We, well, we didn't want to go in there, but, like, we didn't even want to be close to that door, like, at all. So we take five steps back. And then the owner, before he opens the door, he looks at his dog. Can you guys please, like, move out of, like, the area? So we, like, completely walk to a whole nother room before they even open the door for them to go in. And so uh, Eric calls. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, dude, I'm like touring a freaking morgue right morgue. now in a mortuary. Damn. And it was so crazy because it's just like, the first thing I think is like, how do you get into this business? You, It's got to be something that's handed down. Uh, yeah, maybe. Like, I don't think you just wake up and like, I'm going to go buy a mortuary. I mean, we used to have a friend that used to be, a, a, uh, what's it called, an embalmer. You know, yeah. that, that would, that would uh, fill people full of the But, that, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think, like, it's got to be passed it's, down, maybe? Like, No, he actually went to no, school you for gotta, it. No, you go to school for it. Oh, yeah, you have <laughs> to do hours. Yeah. One, of the, one of the ladies that was there uh, told me that she's lived on three uh, three different cemeteries yeah. to lived. get her hours. Ouch. Because it's easier to get your hours for apprenticeship if you live it on the cemetery. It takes a special person to want yep. to do something like that. Would uh, you live on a cemetery? No. Yeah, our good friend Jonathan Davis. Yeah, from that Corn. we grew up in Bakersfield with. He was he was doing that. He was living at a mortuary, you know, early in his career. That's so. what he wanted to do for his life. Yeah. <laughs> so. But wow. it turns out he's a rock star instead. Yes. <laughs> oh my God! Imagine when the power goes out. The Baker Boys, <laughs> Baker Boys in the morning, one two jams, one hundred percent throwbacks. All right, I got a rando. This is SF. Yes. It's the Baker Boys and Ari Rose on a Feel Good Friday. Later on in the show, watch out for that mouth love. Hey, shout out to Batar Sol- Solomon checking us out right now. What up? Uh, also, so Ari, you remember that job that was opened up a while ago about driving the weenie mobile across the country? Yes. Well, there's another job opening up, the nut mobile. Yes. Oh, I don't want to drive the, nuts around. The, I already have you two in the morning. <laughs> Planners is hiring a nut mobile team. If your current job isn't all, all it's cracked up to be, then become a peanutter. So Planners wants oh. three people to join his team and drive around the country with Mr. Peanut. Hey. In oh. his unique nut mobile. All right. Well, okay. there's got to be a VIP thing to this, man. I mean, I would write in a nut mobile. So you, and get paid. Yeah. All right. So you could be a uh, part of the marshals for parades, yep. making appearances at See? public events and interviews. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm. And doing oh, uh, doing uh, and doing out nuts at festival goers. So there you go. <laughs> you if get to throw out nuts at festival goers. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? And you get paid, man. And it's starting in June. So if you want to apply for so this job, it's a summer job. Be okay. <laughs> be a peanutter dot com. Okay. There Thank it is. you for that. <laughs> get your nuts on. Don't ever say that there's no work out there. Yeah. Right. 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 Everybody complaining that there's no work, <laughs> homie. Right. Be a peanutter right now. <laughs> One or two jams. Hundred percent throwbacks. <laughs> yeah, but Tur Solomon, um, really, oh. the only way to get the mixes are on Twitch when we do them live, Dude. or our syndicated show that runs around the country. 
Um, oh we're on like 70, 80 stations around the country. So you just got to find us on one of those. I would just do a search on Google, <laughs> like say hip hop master mix or all star hit mix or uh, Baker Boys classic master mix. I have a freaking, uh, I thought you were going to do the story I have. It's like a check, 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 check. All right. Check it levels. It's a new weenie job. A new weenie job? Yeah, and I thought that's what you were that's, I thought that's no, where you were going. No, that's not what I was going. Fuck. I know right, I just copied and pasted it yesterday. Uh, Baker Buzz, right? Baker Buzz. Yeah. All right. Uh, Did you guys which, oh, I have a Baker Buzz. Yeah. What's Diddy are you doing this time? Are you doing a Diddy this time or yeah, something? Yeah, I'm gonna else? do it. I'm gonna do a Diddy. We always we have right. so much Diddy. Um I'll right. do for Ro Williams. Or Nick, you got one? No, go ahead. I'll do for Ro Williams and chat. Here, right, here you let's go. go. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are the Baker Boys. It is a Feel Good Friday, and that means I have prepared a brand new edition mouth. of Mouth Love for you coming up. But we first, we have some Baker Buzzes. Yes, so um, you guys have been hearing, oh no, we know everything about Diddy, but Stevie J. Yeah. Okay, so he's been like attached to the hip to Diddy oh, yeah. ever since all this stuff came out. I and wonder uh, why. He just threw a lot of celebs under the bus. Oh, really? Really? Uh-huh. That's all coming right. up. Also, something went down with uh, Diddy's security guard who released some uh, audio <coughs> that was very interesting. I'll talk about that as well. And also, Pharrell Williams and Chad Hugo are in a legal dispute over the Neptune's name. I hate that when, they, when uh, former producers fight like this. But we'll talk about that in the Baker Buzz. No birthdays. Okay. Just Wait, so. no, it's National Day. I know. Oh, no, bur- no, no it's birthday. A Wait, there is a birthday today. Is it? It's freaking Pharrell's birthday, dude. Oh, perfect. <laughs> How do you say no birthdays? Oh, because I didn't see I see no birthdays down, but for April oh. 8th. Let me there find April 8th. Birthday. What up, Raptor? Here we go. It's the Baker Boys in the building for a Feel Good Friday. One of our right. favorite producers, birthday, Pharrell Williams from the Neptunes. And coming up in the Baker Buzz, there's a, a feud going on between Chad Hugo and Pharrell Williams, the birthday boy. Over the name of the Neptunes. So we'll talk about that coming up, okay? We'll talk, um, we'll talk about that coming up, okay? But happy birthday anyway, Pharrell. <laughs> yeah. Frustrated from this morning. Oh, no. What happened, man? That sucks. Yes, y'all. The Baker Boys in the building for a Feel Good Friday. The Baker Buzz is coming straight ahead. Yes. Stevie J is standing by his man. Okay. (laughs) No Diddy. That gives a whole different meaning (laughs) right about now these days. Listen, yeah. And he's uh, posted a video about a Diddy party, which highlights a lot of celebrities. Mm -hmm. Mm Oh, I'm so, uh, that was a tease. My fault. This is Baker Buster. And? And we got a legal dispute with Chad Hugo and Pharrell Williams over the production name, The Neptunes. It's 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. I thought that was the whole story. I'm sorry. No. This is... I don't have head, so, head fit. So, uh, Baker sorry. From Hollywood and beyond. We specific- all right, guys, here we go. It's twice a day it happens. Feel Good Friday. Nick V. Eric V. Ari Rose in the building for the Baker Buzz, Ari. Yeah, so, okay, so I know there's, like, a joke going around with Stevie J, and, you know, that was, like, uh, it, he's included inside those documents that mm-hmm. were filed. Yep. And there's actually screenshots of what apparently it looks like Stevie J sleeping with another male in okay. these uh, photos, right? Well, he went, he's been standing next to Diddy in all these videos, um, like, on live and things like that while they're in Miami. So he goes to Instagram and posts this video, and he says, this is what a real Diddy party looks like. And you've got literally like Jay-Z in the video, the Kardashians. You have, um, I mean, the list goes on. You got Pharrell, Pharrell, who we're just talking about. Everybody's dressed to the nines. Like, to the nines. And I was like, okay, they clearly did this to kind of point out these are all the celebrities that have been involved and approve of these idiot parties, approve of what's going on well, inside Well, that's just going to backfire house. on him. <laughs> it's just going to backfire on him. It's, Every yeah. celebrity that, that is in that video is a part of this. Post Malone, The Weeknd, uh, The Smiths. I mean, Kobe Bryant, Snoop Dogg, like the Mary James Jane Blige. has been there oh many my times. God. What, a, what about the Diddy White parties that he has every yeah. year Sheesh. out in New York? Where is that area where all the rich people go? Uh, on the nice oh, island, the Hamptons. The, the Hamptons. Well, well, Every, yeah, yeah go ahead. Every year, there's a white party that Diddy has, right? And here's the thing, though. So they're either posting this to throw all these celebs under the bus to say, "Hey, we're coming for you next." There's a, there's a secret agenda why this video was posted out mm. of nowhere. Okay. Or it's going to be a y'all need to start speaking up and have our backs. We'll see. I don't know. Did you see the video about the security guard re- released, or actually the audio? No. So supposedly there was a party. And the the champagne was roofied. Oh. And supposedly there was audio of Diddy 
uh, smashing Meek Mill in the bathroom. Oh, and he recorded it. Ouch! I'll play you the audio, guys. I don't want to hear that. It's very visual. I'm cool. Hey, well, listen. <laughs> Like Denzel Washington said, you got to leave them party 30 minutes before the devil arrives. Okay. I'm saying, though. <laughs> he knows, right. huh? Pharrell Williams and Chad, of course, Hugo, are members of the songwriting duo, the Neptunes. Right. And now they're arguing over who could, who gets control over the trademark. So the Neptunes produce hits like Nelly's Hot in Here. Of course, Snoop Dogg's Drop It Like It's Hot. And so many other hit records, these guys. Of course, they were uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2022. But now Chad says Pharrell wants sole control over the Neptunes name. And he's trying to block that from happening. So by ignoring and excluding Hugo from any and all applications filed for the applicant of the, the trademark for the Neptunes, the applicant has committed fraud in, in securing the trademarks and acted in bad faith, Chad mm. Lawyer claims. So this is terrible that these guys are fighting over this after, you know, making so many great records. And I heard Chad had a lot to do with a lot of this production that was done that Pharrell was a part of as well. Well, they're partners. Yeah, I know they're partners, but he brought a different element to to some of the productions that that Pharrell did. You know what I mean? That they did together. They built the empire together. They deserve to have equal rights together to the name. I agree. And I hope that Pharrell and their lawyers can go ahead and settle this quickly and make sure that that name, that legendary name lives on Mm -hmm. and they both have equal rights, huh? Yeah. Agreed. There's your Baker Buzz. Feel Good Friday. French Montana has never seen it with a girl, only Diddy. <laughs> take that, take that. Ha. Oh, God. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, boy. SF local here. Um, this could have been a Baker buzz, but. It's okay. We can still talk about it. it. I think it depends how we deliver it. Yeah. No, here's a here's a uh, SF local. Here we go. All right. You guys start, Derek. Yeah. It's Feel Good Friday, party people, 102 jams, 100% throwbacks. That means Nick V's going to be dropping that mouth love later in the show for the weekend. Oh, there's a nightmare that happened. There's an outage here in SF, the high rise. It turns out to be a month-long saga. Did you hear about this? What? No. Yeah, the first power went out at the Paramount, a luxury high rise in downtown San Francisco on the morning of February 21st. Okay. Mm. The resident, Dylan Dawson, assumed it would just be a temporary blip, but the situation ended up spiraling into a month-long saga. And so they still don't have power there. What? Yeah. Ouch. Can you imagine? The, Being in the, the whole dark high for that rise. Long? Yeah, what do you do? Uh, Drive? Yeah, get a generator? I don't know. Get candles? <laughs> Go stay in a hotel. A solar powered. Uh, Jesus. Uh, what's it called? Roof. Well, you know, the uh, <laughs> the whole eclipse thing is coming up on, on a Monday. Monday. People yep. are saying that there's going to be a knockout of the grid and all kinds of things. Oh, man. These people Come just on. got it in advance. So these guys got to. Listen, I survived <laughs> Y2K. If Y2K did not happen, happened. we are okay. Yeah. And did, what, you, did you guys stock up yet? No. Stock up on what, you batteries, toilet paper hoarder? Candles, You batteries, were the one that wiped out the toilet paper. Beans, rice, basic stuff that you may need to survive. What are you Dry do goods. With- okay, if. Guys, just letting you know, I have nothing in my cupboards. It's I was just gonna so say. empty. If there is something major happening on the 8th, I'm going to die. So, <laughs> well, not which, the same day. Maybe what, no, later. but eventually I will, yes, because I don't have anything. So whose house can I come and, over? And Nick lives in his car, so he doesn't have <laughs> Whose nothing. house can I come over? You know what? Uh, meet me on the corner of wow. uh, <laughs> Van Ness and so-and-so. Wow. It's one or two jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Too funny. SF local. What up, DJ Vince? SF local. Do you have anything? Any randos you guys want to talk about? I have some big news here that I've been saving. I have weird uh, questions. I have random questions. Uh, yeah, random questions. You got a rando? Yeah. Feel Good Friday. Here we go. It's the Baker Boys and Ari Rose on a Feel Good Friday. 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. What is your go-to karaoke song? Oh, God, bro. (laughs) I mean, I have to be really, really drunk. It's going to be like something like I Need Love, Brass Monkey, Baby Got Back. Brass Monkey for a freaking karaoke song? I'm just coming off the top of my head. That's what you would want to sing. It takes two... It you takes know. two to make a thing go uh, right. Uh, Rapper's Delight. You know, something wow. fun and something, you know, that I can remember. Rapper's I know. Delight is like eight hours, uh, eight, short, eight minutes. Short version. Yeah. The, the edited version. How about you, Eric? Eric B uh, ain't going to do no karaoke. Ice Ice Baby. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop. <coughs> Collaborate and listen. <laughs> what is yours, fool? <laughs> 
Uh, I would probably do Power of Love, Celine Dion. Really? Or Many Men, 50 Cent. Of course, oh. Many Men. <laughs> I knew that was going to be um, Definitely no Diddy, Can't Stop, Don't Stop. I would Don't love stop. to <laughs> hang out with Ari for drunk karaoke just to watch this. That would be funny. We should do it. We, we got a list of stuff that we are supposed I to know. do. I'm st- I know. I still think done. first on the list is getting the Tesla to the cemetery. Nick has a Tesla now. Yes, let's so go. So we just got to make this happen. Yes, we got to go to the cemetery to find ghosts right. with your Tesla. I got to remove my uh, sleeping bag out of the back. <laughs> <laughs> There's no room for you guys in the back of what, my Tesla. Uh, Eric and I will come over <laughs> with the can of beans okay. on the Eclipse on Monday. <laughs> okay, well, that's guys. something we can do with no power. Yeah, there you are. One <laughs> or two jams. Them. Do one more time. Something we could do with no power. Do, do one more it's time. something we could do with no power. One or two jams, Nick. One or two jams. 100% throwbacks. Hour number four, top of hour number Mine's four. Mine's is I like guy. <laughs> <laughs> this pa- this mic like. is like potent <clears throat> in my face. What do you mean? Yeah, move it. No, well, I, it's fine. It's like. It, it, <clears throat> no, because like when I go back to cough now, I can't even like hide from it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the air. <laughs> you like it lower right here? <clears throat> Is this too cold for you? Mm, it starts fucking my throat. All right, let me see if I can put the swing up so it doesn't. <coughs> yeah, just put it up a little bit. That's fine. I would love for you guys to interview Fifty Cent so I could see Ari's reaction. I wouldn't say nothing. I would just sit there and stare. Just be quiet. Did you see Fifty Cent when uh, they asked him would he pick Cardi B or Nicki Minaj? Yeah, yeah that was I funny. I seen that. He just sat there like, no comment. Ouch. All right, uh, what's next? Um, Senor. Our Rando three. Mm-hmm. This is our number four topic. Our four. four. Okay. Um, All right. I got. Uh, a, I got. A, I got a list of most overrated. Wait, destinations. I got one more thing of the eclipse. You don't want to well, do we one can, more. We can. We can do that. Let's do. Let's save it for. We can for save what? it for Monday a local. Monday is eclipse. We can save it oh, for a local. Okay. We have plenty of local breaks still. No. Well, we have two more, so yeah. we can do it in one of those. So cool. I, I got this got list right here. Baker boys, Ari Rose in the building. Feel good Friday. I am ready for that mouth love. It comes at the end of the hour, so don't miss it. Yes, if you're planning a road trip soon, we'll talk about the most overrated tourist destina- destinations in the U.S. No need to go through these places, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Coming up next, hold on. The Baker Boys. Hey, it's the Baker Boys on a Feel Good Friday. Getting ready to get up out of here a little bit later. But first, here's a list of destinations that everybody says you should be going to, but are not worth it. Yeah, yeah. Tourist destinations (laughs) that are overrated. So if you're going on a road trip, you might want to choose wisely. So here's some of the cities and some of the places that people are talking about. Let's see where we've gone. Las Vegas. The city okay. definitely has plenty of stuff to do for adults, yep. but may be overwhelming when it comes to family. So it's, we're talking about family trips right yeah, here. Don't so, do that. It's so overrated. Suggestions, it's a hard pass, this list says. Okay, this one's weird for me. I don't have any interest to go there, but I know a lot of people do go there. Plymouth Rock. Nah. The Massachusetts uh, hist- historic spot is literally, literally a rock in the sand. So. <laughs> Underwhelming place to visit, but maybe a better part of a historical landmark trip. It's where the lie started. All right, this is probably the most overrated for me. Times Square. Okay. The hot spot in New York City has been ranked as the overrated by many and underrated by some. Points out the first glimpse of the busiest intersection of the Big Apple is cool at first, but then it isn't. Oh, it's so, cool for like 30 seconds and then yeah. you start to smell it. And it's like every time you say I the like word. Times Square. Okay, every time somebody says Times Square, I could just smell the pee. <laughs> I, I could just smell it. It's nasty. You're so oh. dramatic. That's true. <laughs> Ari likes it for a different reason, though. She Why? Likes, she likes that street food smell. Oh, yeah, right? the hot dogs on the street. Street weenies. Street weenies. <laughs> 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 anyway, and Lombardi Street in San Francisco. Oh, the that's streets nice. More is, no, they're, well, they're saying it's overrated, overrated. for families to for go family. to. Why? I think that's cool for the family to All go right, down. The street is world famous for its eight hairpin turns and being on so many TV shows and movies. The Thrillist points out that the famous road sees up to 350 cars per minute. Whoa. It's a lot. That's a lot. But so it's cool. If you have a family, you have some young kids, they're going to dig it. So go, take, get off, take a picture, walk down, walk yeah. back up, have a good time. There you and, go. And it takes all of like five seconds to do. Yeah. Well, 350 cars yeah. per minute. Yeah. All right. Anyway. That's a lot. There it is. I don't want to live on that street. There's guys. your overrated <laughs> tourist, desti- tourist destinations if you're planning to go on a road trip. Uh, Times right. Square is just like downtown I LA. I never knew no way. Rock was just the rock. No way. Not even close to downtown LA. <laughs> I'm very disappointed in downtown LA. Why are you laughing? As a major city, it should be you know way that? better. Did you know that that's what no. it looked like? Did you know that's what Plymouth Rock looked like? No. <coughs> <coughs> 
It's right. literally a freaking walk. Uh, I got something funny here. All right. You okay. start. It's, it's FSF local. All right. Feel Good Friday right here at the Maker Boys Show. Of course, 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. All right. This is funny right here. There's a strip club here in downtown San Jose that's changing their names to Chuck E. Cheeks. No. <laughs> no. I like that. That's a no. great name. No. What do you mean? Why are they ruining my childhood <laughs> That's like hilarious. That? I love it. I love the name. <laughs> Let me see this club. Which club is That's this? That's awesome. <laughs> it's going to change the name no. this, this summer. Is I want to this... go there. Oh, no. I'm so mad. I used to club in this place every, every Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's right. where the old vault used to be. Well, you set the vibe. Chucky so, Cheeks. I like oh, it. Oh, man. All those twerks you did back in the day are going to come back <laughs> to life here. I'm never going to look at this place again. My childhood just went down the drain. Your oh, childhood. stop. How old were you when you going well, to this club? my childhood, I grew up inside Chuck E. Cheese. We used to always oh, go to Chuck E. Cheese. Right. It's right on Tully and 101. It's still there. I wonder mm-hmm. if they're going to have a uh, like a, um, a box of balls you can jump into, oh, like Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, my Cheese. God. Balls. I'm sure yeah. there's going to be enough balls in there to box on. <laughs> That's for right, sure. Well, have fun at Chuck E. Cheeks this oh summer right here in downtown Is it San Jose. time for mouth love? I need my molecules it's, to it's, be switched. It's coming up, man. Hold on. One or two jams. 100% throwbacks. No you could do the, your. That was terrible. You could do your story about your uh, what's it called um, the uh, eclipse. Stuff? Eclipse, yeah. Ready? Okay. Everybody knows April eighth on Monday Ooh. the big eclipse is coming. <laughs> Run for cover. Three minutes of like what? Blackness? Total darkness. Total darkness where the sun passes the moon. The moon what? passes. The sun. I don't even know how it works. Hey, why was I gonna say three minutes long? Three minutes strong. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so earlier, um, yeah, so we're, we've been talking about the eclipse like for the last few days, I guess. Uh, but speaking of it, being blinded by light, it seems a lot of people don't know that looking at the solar eclipse without eye protection could damage your eyes. Uh. According to a survey by the Ohio State University Medical Center, nearly one third of Americans don't know that staring at the sun during an eclipse could damage your vision and even cause blindness. Even a few minutes of looking at the sun without proper eye protection could lead to permanent blindness without any warning signs or symptoms, including pain. Okay. Nick's going to say something I'm about this. Say I know. I'm, I feel I'm, it I'm coming. Watching, I know. I'm looking at him like he's got. He's rolling his eyes yep. over here. Mm-hmm. So I just say Tell me. anything that is coming from any officials, just reverse it. Reverse it. Everything they're saying is a lie and all the lies they're saying are truths. That's all I'm saying. I'm so, going the Cat Williams uh, so uh, direction. Gonna, so you're going to look at it directly. Yep. yep. And I, when I come back, guys, and um, I might not even come back, guys. Once I see the eclipse and I receive all the, the uh, information the downloads. and downloads, I might just be out of here. Kind of like the third body people. Have you seen that show on Netflix? Third, yeah, oh, three, I'm, three body body. People. I'm trying to get through three that. Body. Uh, me and my wife have been watching that damn thing for like yeah. a week and a half. Me we too. can't get through it. I've already watched it. I, I finished body it. body problem. Uh, I already finished it, so it... Uh, hey, leave it, all right? Don't tell us what right. you feel about it. All right, I'm not going to tell you. You Eric, are bugs. Eric B's a hater. I'm not going to tell you. You are bugs. What all episode right. are you on? I don't even know, like seven. Oh, you what, are bugs, the too. The last two. There's only You're, eight. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, that's coming up. So anyway, <sighs> guys, be careful. Don't look at the sun or look at the uh, eclipse. Or if but you, you want to be like Nick, stare. You can stare at the sun uh, effectively and without being hurt an hour um before sunset and an hour after. Uh, yeah, they call it sun gazing, right? Sun gazing. You do that. I've been doing mm. it for years, and it's totally safe. Mm. Yep. Look it up on uh, YouTube. Yep. It's a thing. It's an ancient thing. Eat mm. the sun. Baker Boys Daily 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. What up, Hashi? Sun Hashi says, talking about Chuck E. Cheese, I was able to get into an abandoned Chuck oh. E. Cheese that all the characters and games are still in it. All dusty and old, creepy looking, oh. dark and gringy. What's next? Buffa? Shout out to Buffa. Hashi Buffa. Motorsports checking us out right now on YouTube, man. Nick fell asleep every night. Yep, he does. Good morning, Eric, Ari, and Nick. Good morning, Mama Jess. Thank you for tuning in. Mama Jess. Where we at? My Mama Jess. This is Mouth Love Tease. All right, here we go. All right. Feel Good Friday is here, people. That means it is time for that Mouth Love the Weekend. And Nick V's got some positive <laughs> affirmations for all of us. We're going to need it because Monday's coming. Yep. And the big eclipse is happening. <laughs> so maybe these words will protect us from going blind or possibly the world ending yeah. on Monday. You're going to be fine. Stay tuned. Mouth <laughs> Love is coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to change the molecules? Are you ready to uplift ready. yourself yes. and your community? Let's it's go. happening next. 102 Jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Lifting frequencies. Who wrote this? Did Nick? Did uh, you write this one? Much love, support for you guys. Come Stay on. positive. Thank you, bro. Baker, Baker Boys Daily.
Baker Boys on your radio, Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. It is time for that mouth love mm. going into the weekend. Mm. Yo, are you ready, Ari Rose? Are you ready, Nick I V? I am ready. All right, let's get into it. It's been a long week. Uh, I appreciate yes. you guys. Thank you so very much for being here and making my life so easy and so pleasant and so happy. We're doing lots of positive things here at this show. Are you show. talking about us? Yeah. Talking about you guys. <laughs> I know. I was like, and everybody <laughs> listening, of course, as well. So I want you to please take a deep breath in and hold it. Hold. Push it out. <laughs> Too much smoke. You got to chill out on the Snoop Dogg, baby girl. One more deep breath in. Push it out. All right. If you feel a little lightheaded, that's okay. This, ladies and gentlemen, repeat after me. These are positive affirmations that I write for you every week. We are magic. We are magic. We are magic. One hand in the air, ladies and gentlemen. One hand in the no, air, no, no, ladies no, no, and no, gentlemen. No, no, no. No, <laughs> One hand in the air. Say this. We ask and we receive. We, we ask, ask and, and we receive. receive. We are anointed and protected. We are anointed and protected. We are infinite love. We, we are, are infinite, infinite love. love. Two hands in the air. We are Two infinite, infinite love. love. Roller coaster right now. You are uh, positivity. <laughs> roller coaster of love. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for the Baker Boys show. Thank you, Ari Rose. Thank you, Eric V. Yeah. Thank, you, Thank you, listeners. Thank you, everybody in the chat. Uh, you can watch us every Monday and Thursday morning. Twitch.tv forward slash the Baker Boys. Also, YouTube right now. Shout out to YouTube hey, Mafia. Hey, He's the only hey, one in there. Hey. Big Adam checking us out right now. Hey. So shout out to you for tuning in. It's the Baker Boys. We will be back on Monday. Uh, we'll see what happens during this crazy eclipse. eclipse happening yes, on Monday, we're going to so. be fine, guys. You guys have a safe, great weekend. We'll catch you then. Peace. Peace. Bye. Peace. Promo. What is that? <laughs> Are you doing the fucking <laughs> robot? Puppet? I was doing, isn't that called a robot? Uh, yeah. Uh, yep, I got the boys clip. with your uh, daily oh, fix okay, of. I got the destination. Your daily fix of fun. Uh, your daily. Uh, here we go. You got something? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to find it real quick. Hold on. Hold on two seconds. Tourist places that you shouldn't go. Yeah. Really okay. thinks so fun. Yes, y'all. The Baker Boys in the building. Tune in for a Feel Good Friday. I'm going to be dropping some mouth love. It's positive affirmations from my heart to yours. And apparently people don't know if it's safe to eat during the eclipse or not, so I'm going to let you know. And we got a mo and we got a list of the most overrated tourist places to go on a road trip. We'll talk about that today. It's the Baker Boys with your daily fix One or two jams, 100% throwbacks on a feel-good Friday. This morning, I'm going to be dropping some mouth love, so tune on in for that. And I'm going to let you know if it's safe to eat during the eclipse on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about tourist de tourist destinations that are overrated. And unfortunately, one of our hot spots or one of our places here in the Bay oh. is on this list. No, <laughs> we'll say talk it. about it. They said it's overrated. All right. We'll debate. Jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. All right, uh, real quick, um, hit the, the um, for, for Adam, they have suits. Oh, birthday. is his birthday? Yeah. All right, all right, let me put my headset on so I can hear. Right. Get your headsets. Get your headsets. Get your headsets. Get it. Get it. You know it's serious when I put my headsets in, guys. Just for Adam. Hey, hi, Oh, 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 oh. It's your birthday. 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 Go, Adam. It's your birthday. Go, Adam. It's your birthday. One time. One time. For Adam. One time. One time. For Adam. It's your birthday. Hey. Hey. That's all I got. Why y'all get me so hyped, though? Oh, snap out. Shout out to Adam. Ari Thanks. sounds like a chimp. Oh, you're so sweet, sister. <laughs> Just what I wanted to hear in the morning. Shout out to the homie Big Adam, man. It's your Love birthday, you. bro. Enjoy uh, your day. Someone asked uh, if I would do nice ayahuasca. For yourself. In the immortal words of our big brother, Frank V, don't cheat yourself. Treat, treat yourself. yourself. Do something nice, man. Go get yourself a happy ending today or something, bro. Whoa. Make it happen, bro. <laughs> get your nails done. Get your, your get your toes did. Get your toes done. Collect and save. My birthday was Tuesday. Frank Data. Oh. Hey, Frank Data. Happy birthday, man. Sorry, we Happy belated. You. All right, I'm ready. Or not. Hold on. Uh, let me see here. Uh, my twin's 11th birthday is next Tuesday. Delete your stories. Yeah, I'm going to do that right now. Hold on. Ari's being pushy. She over here, do this, do you, that. You love your chat, boy. Do that. I got to pay attention. I know. They 
other, you know, they're no, here absolutely. watching us. They could be anywhere but I feel and like watching could, anybody. Like, chat for 24 hours. No, I can't chat for that long. I think so. No, I don't, I don't think so. My twin's 11th birthday is next Tuesday. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, so let me see. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Mm. Stories, stories, get rid of stories. Let's see if there's anything new that just posted right now on Diddy. Oh. Miss Rose is beautiful, Big Adam says. Well, thank you, Big Adam. Big Adam. Big Adam. What you doing over there, Big Adam? Back it up one time, Big Adam. <laughs> what? Back what, what you up? doing one time, Big Adam? Yeah. Get your Meek Millie on, Big Adam. Oh, bro. Get your Diddy you wanna, on. You want to hear? Do you want to hear that? I audio? don't want to hear that, bro. Do you want to hear? Why it? would I want to hear that, I'm homie? I'm just asking you. Nah, dog. That's like asking me if you want. You want me? You? If you want me? Never mind. <laughs> I think Jeez. I think Ari wants to hear it. What? No, I'm, dog. You don't want to hear the video, the audio of supposedly Diddy smashing Meek Mill no, at a party. No, I definitely don't want to hear that. Bro, <laughs> this, so I don't want to hear that. The security <laughs> guard was like, cheeks was clapping, blah blah blah. Do you guys want to hear it? No. no. Yeah, well, I'll leave the room. Yeah, same. You can do it after we're done. How about that? Miss Vidal wants to hear it. Where did, you, where you, did you even Your find wife. it? Of course Wait, where did you even find this? On Twitter, bro. Oh, on Twitter. Come yeah. on, man. Twitter's the place, man. There's all <laughs> kinds of crazy shit on Twitter, bro. All right. There's nothing new on the diddler. Diddy, on the diddler right now. But <laughs> I hate it. Like, as soon as we drive off, like, 10 minutes later, something yep, big something will is hit. Gonna happen. Like, as soon as we it. leave the studio. Ugh. Hold on. I got to put this over here. Uh, so the documentary was the one that just went up this morning. I did catch that. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Damn it. I got one. Where is <laughs> I do got some more Diddy news. Uh, what are you doing for Baker Buzz? Diddy. Okay. I got uh, Diddy, and I'm going to do Jay-Z's Made It in America Festivals. Uh, canceled. Canceled again. Second Whoa. Year. Or do you want to do that one? And then I can do a J Lo. Oh, shit. Huh? No. No. Do you want this? What, what is do it? you got? What is it? No, I'm good. Okay. Mm -mm. I got J Cole. All right. Here we go. Me, me and you, Ari. Yeah. Right. It's a manifest Monday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Somebody has just been added to the Dreamville Festival, uh, and I think. Miss Ari Rose is going to be very happy about this. Ooh, I wonder who it could be. <laughs> I'll tell you who it is. It's 50 Cent. Woo! Yeah. And the mother of one of Combs' sons released the video on Instagram and expre expressed outrage over the way the raid was handled at Diddy's house. Oh, huh. boy. All right, more Diddy news coming up. Baker Boys Daily, Manifest Monday. Today's National Day. Uh, what up, party people? The Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Today is National Empanada Day. Oh, yum. I I'm like empanadas. Go make That's some. one thing I do like. I like do the chicken you? ones. Yes, they're so good. Yeah, well, uh, get them for his birthday or something like that. Empanada Man. Empanada what? Man? Yeah. My birthday's in October. It's I still just, ways away. I can just make some. Yeah, fine. Nah, I don't know if I want your. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Not Eric be approved. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Cold blooded, bro. <laughs> Slash. All right, Baker Buzz Dry Tease. Manifest Monday, Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building, coming straight ahead in my Baker Buzz. I'm talking about J. Cole. He just added 50 Cent, the homie, to Woo. the Dreamville Festival. Okay. And a new video of Diddy's home being raided in L.A. seemed to stir up some emotions in one of Combs' son's mothers, and uh, she is not happy the way it was handled. Of course. We'll talk about it in the Baker Buzz. 102 Jam. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. I turned 53 about close <coughs> to getting a senior breakfast at McDonald's. Yeah. Pay attention. Got to give us some love, too, Hollywood while we're in here in the chat. So I'm telling you, Hashi. Big. Was a teaser? Nope. This oh, is... Baker Buzz. It is time for your Baker Up Buzz, people. Right here, Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose on the Baker Boys Daily. Manifest Monday in full motion. So Justin Combs' mom, Misa Heilton. Who? Yeah, yeah, Misa. Just say Misa. <laughs> Let's go with Misa. So one of Justin Combs' mom, Misa, blasts authorities who raided Diddy's homes, says excessive force was used to terrorize these innocent young black men. Ooh, okay. She says the overzealous and overtly military force. Zealous. Overzealous. Yeah, zealous. 
The overzealous and overtly military force used against my sons, Justin and Christian, is deplorable. Basically, you see this video. They have, they're coming in with these huge guns pointed. They have a laser point at one of the son's heads, his chest. And so she's saying, hey, this is excessive force. Okay. Well, I, I could see that. I could see that happening. And it would be very, very scary for that to happen to anybody. But the size of what's going on here. Uh, this is right. a, in, this is like a national thing. Mm -hmm. This is this is the federal agencies coming in here to seize some of the things that their father right and they're in that house. So apparently there's cameras all over this house. So they're also being yeah. recorded. Everything they yeah. do, yeah, everything they do is being recorded. Ouch. So, but this is what I'm saying. It's like I see from a mother's point of view how yeah, you I would be, be like, off too. whoa, like how dare you? Especially when you're clearly seeing my son well, coming about, out in sweats with his hands up. How about her being upset with putting her sons in, in those houses? In, in those houses. <laughs> With those things okay. uh, that are going on in that house. Yeah. Yep. But I would be outraged for that as well. 50 Cent has joined J. Cole's Dreamville Festival. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah, she's happy, I'm I sure. Know. Well, I'll I am, but I'm not. Why? Why? Because I'm not going to be there. Oh, oh God. So how does that benefit me? So he's perform performing all over the world, and you can see anything online. If yeah, he well, wants to. I saw him He's doing his farewell, farewell, uh, farewell tour right now, right? Yeah, that's why I got like front row seats when he came, when he was did uh, he see in you? California. Yeah. Did he, did he point you out? out? Did um, he, you didn't see me throw you, my big bra on stage. Did, did, <laughs> did you make eye contact? <laughs> <laughs> no, I get shy. Oh so, God! Uh, Sizz is going to be headlining that festival as well. The that's lineup cool. has changed since it was first announced. Apparently, Chris Brown and Money Long recently pulled out. Chris mm. Brown and Money Long had to drop out. Had to drop out due to unforeseen circumstances. Mm. Mm. All right. So well, thank the, you for that big buzz, Nick V. Coming it, up in my big buzz, what? we're talking about Diddy is now off the Met Gala guest list, uninvited. Oh no! Oh, I, wonder I wonder why. Wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> That's coming up in the next big buzz, y'all. What up, golfer? Manifest Monday to SF locals. All right, uh, rando stories, guys. Anybody got anything they want to talk about? Looking now. All right. What about you? Uh, let me see. Okay, I got one. Go <coughs> <coughs> ahead to start it. It is 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks on this Manifest Monday. It is also uh, yes. Eclipse Day, right? It is Eclipse Day. Eclipse Day. Are you so excited? It's going to come out in like a few hours. I'll probably be asleep during it. Honestly, I'd sleep through like major events in the world. <laughs> Well, you know the eclipse takes place at twelve twenty central. So what is that? Uh, Eleven, ten, twenty, ten, ten twenty, 20 here. So right when we're getting, you'll be driving home when it's happening. I'll be happening. asleep by then. <laughs> you don't even live that close to the station. I'm playing. I'm playing. Oh my goodness. Well, anyways, just to remind you guys, since uh, the eclipse is happening today, yes, it is safe for you to eat. Uh, NASA let us know that a couple days ago. <laughs> it is not safe for you to stare at the eclipse directly with your sun, with your eyes. It can cause blindness. It can cause pain. It can cause other things. Dr. Nick here, who is a, uh, a doctor in his own <laughs> world, which we do respect very much because he is very knowledgeable. He studies what he preaches. I use the sun for enlightenment. It helps me open my third eye, and you all oh. can do it as well. Your pineal gland has been de has been calcified throughout the entire your entire life without mm. you knowing. Uh, from fluoride, they put toothpaste, into yeah. your toothpaste to um, water. They put fluoride in the water. They've been putting it in our water system since the 40s, yeah. since World War II. All of these things. This is why I study the, some of the things like the, the solar eclipse, mm. the sun, the moon. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm in one with nature, if you will. Well, I was going to tell you this weekend, um, I, I just popped into my head, so I wanted to bring it up today, actually. You talked about that you've been sun gazing for a long time. What is exactly sun gazing and like, why do you do it? Sun gazing is an ancient practice that mm -hmm. has been going on for thousands of years. And what you're doing is you're basically cutting out the food process. You're going directly to the source. What, how, how do you grow fruit or plants or mm -hmm. anything? Mm -hmm. It's coming from the sun. Right. The natural energy and the mm -hmm. vitamins and everything that the sun provides is able to also provide you with energy directly from the sun. It's not yeah. safe to look directly into the sun, obviously, during certain times of the day. Right. You have to look at the UV index. Just look mm -hmm. up at your weather report and look mm -hmm. for your UV index. If it's over zero, don't look into the sun. 
So it happens at the beginning of the day when the sun first comes up and before it sets, the golden oh. hour. Every day, beginning of the day and at the end of the day before the sun goes down, you can stare at the sun up to 10 seconds at a time. Work your way up oh. all the way to 45 minutes, which I have done and completed. That is crazy. Really? Wow, yes, that's insane. All right, well, thank you for that. It's 102 Jam. 100% throwbacks. That's not what I was going to talk about, but that was a good no, uh, break. All right, let's go. It's a Manifest Monday, 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks, throwbacks with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose. I always say Mondays are a good day to set your intentions, to like shift your perspective, mm -hmm. to shift the energy. One of my main models that I'm talking about every single day on my Instagram is shift up, uh, shake up the stale energy. Because I think we can start getting stale. We start getting tired. It's another week, another Monday. I got to do this again. And it's like we got to start shaking the energy up and getting excited about things again. So what is one thing that you would like to change this week that you maybe didn't do last week? Manifest Monday, huh? Yeah. That I didn't do last week. Well, I guess it would be exercise. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I get into these modes where I'm exercising, I feel good, and I'm going, mm -hmm. and then I slump off, and then I just don't mm. go for a week or you two fall weeks. Off, yeah. Fall off. So trying to get back into that. And then it's so hard to get back into it, too. Yeah, yeah yes. it is. But once you do, once you do a really good workout, then it's like momentum. You yep. want to keep it going. It's all about habits and creating Yeah, for habits. me, it's going to be making more me time. Yay. Ooh, I have yeah. been concentrating so much on work, so much behind the scenes, mm -hmm. so much editing, so much research, so much trying to improve our channels on YouTube, on you, on Twitch or whatever it is, mm -hmm. uh, streaming, you know, yeah. mixing, you know, all that stuff. So, yeah, some more me time to do some things that I want to do to relax you know, maybe go get a massage, maybe go to the golf range. I'm actually going golfing against next week yeah. with Ooh, one of our friends, Jay Grand, Grand, Grand Easy. Yeah. I'm going to go out nice. and golf with him. So I'm just trying to make some more me time, honestly. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of both yeah. of you. But why don't you tell, let's let our listeners know where they can find us since you're putting all this work in on the behind the scenes. Uh, YouTube, dot for, uh, YouTube, just search The Baker Boys. It'll pop up there. Also, mm -hmm. uh, of course, twitch.tv forward slash The Baker Boys. Check us out there. I, uh, all our social media as well, at The Baker Boys, T-H-E-B-A-K-A-B-O-Y-Z. And we are on live sometimes. You can catch us. Yeah, Mondays and Instagram. Thursdays. Mm -hmm. And Instagram as well. Yep. Yep. Baker All right. Boys Daily, one or two jams. 100% throwbacks. Uh, is there a command to list all your socials? You know what? I think there should be a link tree, or I could put one up, actually. I'll put one up. Hold on. Let me, let me put one up, Mama Jess. Mama Jess all asking right. me to work during during the middle of my work. <laughs> What's top? What do you got? This is hour number two. You got a yeah. rando? I got more Eclipse stuff. What do you got? Uh, yeah, you should do the Eclipse because well, the last time we'll be able to talk about it because well, then the Eclipse happens after. I don't know if you should do it because nationally the Eclipse oh, will be done already. already. No, uh, no? Yeah, the no, afternoon. Hour two is seven. If we do three. Monday. Afternoon. Seven, it's, three. Okay. Yeah, it's we're a on three to seven in, 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 in Vegas. It's over already. Right. All right. It's going to well, be over. We, we can say. The only way we could talk about it is on San Francisco. No, it's not over, though. What do you mean it's not over? It's at 10, 10, 10 20 in the morning. Central time. Yeah, but by, by the time the show plays. But it's second hour, right? Yeah, but the, by the time the show plays in afternoon drive in in Miami. Oh, yeah. The, after, I'm thinking morning time. No. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? That's right. We're on like afternoon. Multiples. And different yeah. Ones. All right. Yeah. So we're just yeah. going to go escape that. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, let me see. Okay. I got something here. It's a Manifest Monday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. We all have our own little weird quirks, right? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about some things that people are embarrassed to admit that turns them on. Oh, okay. We'll talk about that coming up. All right. Let's see if they turn us on, Nick. Boys <laughs> Daily. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Oh, boy. It's the Baker Boys Daily along with Ari Rose in the building for a Manifest Monday. Now, have you ever been on Reddit, guys? Yeah. Not Reddit really. is, I don't no? go. I don't go on it, but then I'll Google. You know, I'm queen of Googling stuff, right. and then I'll click and it'll take me to Reddit. It'll Reddit. It'll yeah. send up a Reddit a thread. Reddit thread, right? Yeah. So we're talking about redditors that are embarrassed to admit things that specifically turn them on. Okay, so okay. listen to this list of a couple things here. All right. When I get a haircut and the barber runs the razor over my back of my over the back of my neck, weird. They get turned on with oh, that. I don't some know. of the pretty, uh, some of them are pretty surprising, like watching donuts get made. 
when they're when they're cutting up grit, gift wrapping paper and scissors start to glide. Wait, they get turned they on. They get turned on by these things, right? Mask. Oh. I don't know why, but they do something for me. Sitting naked in my backyard, I have a gazebo on my patio with private curtains and we'll have my morning coffee out there butt naked. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh, okay. Obviously, Nick B. I like that one. Yeah, he likes okay. that. But that uh, would turn you on? It, it turns me on thinking about me doing that. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about weird things that Redditors are saying actually turn them on. Crazy. Okay, don't judge me. But ASMR gardening videos get me. It's my guilty pleasure. Wow. Huge noses on men also turn people on. <laughs> so, that's not a banana. That's my nose. Yeah. <laughs> men invest. I don't know why, but men invest make me horny as hell. Men invest. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, do you have any weird quirks to turn you guys on by any chance? Uh, no. I mean, I can't think of anything that's like weird. Like, that's weird, weird. <laughs> what like, about you, Eric V? You're the one yeah. about this up. You well, have to have yeah. something. Oh, it I seems like he gets turned on by weird stuff. You can no, tell. No, I I'm trying to think of one mm. thing I could talk about. Well, I don't, I don't know if you it's don't have food that. in your cabinets. You you probably have weird turn-ons. Okay, turn going to the chat. Mama Jess says men with bowed legs are sexy <laughs> AF. Oh my really? god! <laughs> what? I'll Bow? tell you what's not sexy: men with hips. Men with hips. What, what does that mean? Men what, with hips. Yeah, Every man not, has a hip. No, some men got more hips. They than got a lot more of curves women. than they should. Yeah, like curvy <laughs> men. If anyone listening is curvy, I'm so sorry, but it's not for me. Wait, wait, wait. We're talking about things that turn you turn on. You I know. On. Well, because she talked about bow-legged men, and, and imbe- immediately I saw hips oh in my, my head. God. That's how much I don't. All right, Ari, you just took us to a whole other. I know. Yeah. We'll have to anyway, talk about that. Anyway, that's some list of that's some girl chat talk. Things <laughs> that are embarrassed. People are embarrassed to admit. Turn them on. There you go. Baker Boys Daily. <clears throat> Not this. All right. All right. Um, this is another. Rando. I could do this. This is national. This is for everybody. All right. You start, Eric? Yeah. It's a manifest money with the Baker Boys on your radio. And you know JetBlue, Eric V, right? Yes, have you I do. JetBlue before? I have. Yep. Do you know about this surge pricing for baggage happening? Oh, uh, no. This is terrible. Uh-uh. Hold on, it's coming up next. We'll tell you all about it. Damn. You might want to uh, go on a different airline, <laughs> basically. One of two jams. 100% throwbacks. We're not Bowed at the knees. What the hell? The Baker Boys Daily on Twitch.tv slash so The Baker Boys. Eric V, Nick V, of course, all these. Oh, sorry. Eric V, Nick V, Ari Rose right here. Of course, all these airlines mm-hmm. always trying to get our money. They're trying, trying to, make to their get money more back. money. So I've heard of this before. Price surging, like Uber will do it, like certain times yeah. of the day when traffic is very mm-hmm. heavy, they will charge more. So now, uh, evidently, JetBlue's doing it, Yeah, right? they're jumping on the price surging uh, bandwagon, if you will. Uh, they're going to be switching to surge pricing for baggage fees. The fee will jump on days that the airline consider to be peak, which turns what? out to be half of the year. Right. Yeah. Oh, wow. That, that's just a little fine print right there, right? Mm-hmm. Here's the catch. If you add a checked bag during booking... At least 24 hours before check-in, the price is going to be $35 for off-peak dates and $40 for peak dates. Now, if you add the baggage after at the window, that cost is going to jump to $45 and an industry high $50 as well. Mm -hmm. JetBlue says, we don't like increasing fees, but we're making these adjustments to help our company get back to a profitability and cover the increased costs that we have. Everything just keeps getting more and more expensive. I just feel like if I'm paying $700 for a round trip ticket, my luggage should accompany me for right. free, yeah. period. Yeah, your, totally. your luggage should be right next to you. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> really? It is crazy. It's ridiculous. So just let you guys all know those are those surge prices that might be happening to you. All right. SF Local. Okay. I got something here for the <coughs> Bay Area. This is cool. surprising here, Eric V. Okay. It. it 102 jams, 100% throwbacks on a manifest Monday, guys. That eclipse is coming up around the corner. Yes, it is. But check this out. Uh, According to the latest national rent report from the rental website Zumper released last week, the city of San Francisco and the area saw a 9.1 year-over-year drop in one-bedroom apartment rents. Really? Mm. That plunge means that it tied with Scottsdale, Arizona, and also the fourth steepest drop of the country for single bedroom rents over the last 12 months. So Yeah, yeah people couldn't afford to live af- out here, man. Nope. It's expensive as hell. You got to keep on dropping those prices because uh, 
can't get into anything. Everyone needs to drop every price. <laughs> drop it like it's hot. <laughs> drop, oh, drop, drop. Jesus. Just so you know, it's a little easier to get into a Bay Area one-bedroom apartment these days. 102 Jams. 100% yeah. throwbacks. Another SF local. All right. I got some uh, shout-outs I'm going to do. Okay. Anything else after that? Uh, let me see here. Um, I could I could talk about this Mr. B story, probably. All right. It's 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks on a manifest Monday with the Baker Boys and Art Rose in the building. Good morning, everybody. Shout out to 94621. Also, 94085 and 94577 listening to us right now in the morning. All right, so Mr. Beast, we all know who he is. The guy from YouTube. He does so much crazy things, helps yeah. people with uh, that need water in like Africa and all kinds of other stuff. So he is collaborated with electric e-bikes to donate 600 electric bikes to individuals across the u.s who need transportation solutions nice oh, so that is pretty really cool. nice the, the bikes are valued at six hundred thousand dollars and to mr beast nonprofit, of course uh, which is dedicated in making a positive impact in the world impact in the world the recipients were selected through mr beast's online community mm -hmm. with the distribution of bikes and showcased in a heartwarming heartwarming video on his youtube channel so shout out to him continuing to do great things with his platform that he's built okay can we get this guy to run for congress or something I mean, can we get him to be a mayor of a city? Let's get him started. Yeah. Let's start Keep grooming him. Keep him to start grooming. I don't think he would want to do that, honestly. What do you mean? I don't think he would want to do it's it. He don't want to, because when you get into politics, everything gets sticky. Yeah, that's Red too. tape. It's money. Everybody knows that you're in a yes. position, so they start greasing you up, yes. and then all of a sudden you feel like you're the boss because you got this contract with that person. Oh, my mm. cousin, he's got that contract with it. It's it's slimy. I get it, but come yeah. on, man. We need some somebody good like Mr. Beast that is out to do something positive for the community. And yeah. not even – not only America. He's doing it around the world. Yeah, yeah. globally. And, yeah. I, and I think, like I said – if he was to get into politics, it would just cost too much red tape, and he wouldn't be able to do what he actually wants right, to do. You're probably right. Right now, he's moving freely and, and do, making good on his own. He don't need that. All right. Well, shout out to Mr. Beast, and shout out to all those other uh, nonprofit organizations or people that just help from the goodness of their hearts. And if you're doing something and you have a good cause, send us a DM on Instagram. We would love to highlight what yeah, you're doing and totally. put it out there. Great idea. Thank you very much. Baker Boys Daily, 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Did you guys tease for <laughs> Baker Buzz? Anybody? Uh, no, we didn't. Um, okay. Yeah, I did. Diddy. <laughs> you did? No. Yeah, I we did. We cut it off fast, I think, because it no, went No, I did long Diddy. The, him being out, out of the, uh, what was it called? The, oh, the sex Met Gala. The... Oh. Okay. Well, and the, the bathroom sex. Do you have something else, or do you want me yeah. to get it? Oh, no, not you, the bathroom sex. Something. I didn't talk about the bathroom sex. I, I have stuff, but it's up <laughs> to right, you. We'll, we'll let you go. Manifest Monday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. We have another Baker Buzz coming around the corner for y'all. Yeah, Taylor Swift is getting a channel dedicated to her on Sirius XM. Wow, okay. <laughs> and we're talking about Diddy off the guest list amid all his raids and allegations. Uh -oh. He's no longer invited to the Met Gala. Oh, now you know it's all over for you now, bro. <laughs> yeah. The elites don't want to have anything to do with you. Ooh. What did you do, man? Damn. What up, Jay Rose? What up, Jay Cantu? This is in place of birthdays here. I got some. Mm -hmm. Eric, will you start? Yeah. Baker Boys Daily on a Manifest Monday. Hope nobody went blind from the... <laughs> oh, f <laughs> Eric, the eclipse? Oh, never mind. Yeah, anyway. Don't go do that. What? No, you're going to leave that? Hope everybody... No, we'll do blind. it again. Go ahead. Yeah. Recording. Baker Boys on a Manifest Monday, Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. If you guys are looking for a job that really makes some good money and you don't have to do anything but sit behind a computer screen, AI models are big business online these days. Ooh. AI fitness model and Atina Lopez has over 300,000 followers and digital influencer Emily Pellegrina, these are all made up by the way, has been billed <laughs> as the world's hottest model. Oh. AI-powered girlfriend, Lexi Love, pulls in 30K a month. Oh, that's, that's Ari, a, that's I told Eric's you girlfriend. to do this. Yep. I told you to do AI Ari and make it happen already. All right. 20K help a me, month. Help me create an AI Ari. Uh, I'm not helping you create nothing. <laughs> go, to, go to chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> create me. Baker Buzz try. Party people, it's the Baker Boys on the Manifest Monday coming straight ahead in your Baker Buzz. Well, Swifties, I got some good news for you. Taylor Swift is getting a channel dedicated to her own. And after being in the circle, he's obviously out the circle now. We're talking about uninvited to the Met Gala. Of course, it's Diddy. He is uninvited. So we'll talk about that in the Baker Buzz. 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. What is this? 
Hollywood and beyond. We specifically said no Taylor. It's a Manifest Monday. The Baker Boys and I rose in the building. If you did not get enough of Taylor Swift, we have an entire <laughs> channel dedicated to her now. Yes, Taylor Swift is getting her very own channel on Sirius XM named naturally Channel 13. Ah, it right. will broadcast beginning April 7th, which is exactly 13 days. Wait, no. Because now it's April 8th. Monday's April 8th. So it started yesterday. Let me restart that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, will we ever play a Diddy track again? Nick V's probably deleted all the Diddy tracks on yeah, shit already. I, we'll talk about it. Nick's going to do a Diddy versus R. Kelly mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that shit would be bomb ass. I put some McMill vocals over it. Oh, boy. I got the audio. <laughs> Baker Boys and Men. Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building for a Manifest Monday. It's time for your Baker Buzz. Yes, so Swifties, I don't know. You guys probably already know, but to in case you didn't know, uh, Taylor Swift has gotten her very own channel on Sirius XM. Oh, yes. Nice. yes. Naturally, of course, it's named Channel 13, and it began broadcasting yesterday, April 7th, which was exactly 13 days before she releases her next album. Oh, Isn't that like her lucky number, supposedly, yes, 13? That's what, yep, that's why they're saying, like, mm. naturally be called Channel 13. Uh, the new album that is coming out is The Tortured Poets Department. Department. That's the name of her album. Sirius XM subscribers in North America can tune in on Channel 13 in their cars or on the app from, well, beginning yesterday, like I mentioned, April 7th, all the way through May 6th. Let's go back to that title. It sounds a little dark to me. The Tortured Poets Department. There's something in it. Why is that dark? Eric? It just sounds... Tortured? Tor tortured? Well, it's a poet thing. Think about it. Tortured yeah. Poets Department, right? I don't know. I, I feel like it sounds dark to me. Anyway, uh, we're talking about Diddy right now. <laughs> he is off the list. All right. Reports are saying the music mogul has been removed from the guest list for the Met Gala, which is going to be in May in New York. Thanks to all the recent drama. Of course, it's a big deal because he usually is a fixture at the show. And source claims that the industry has distanced itself from Diddy while he combats accusations of sex trafficking and other legal, uh, other federal investigation. Diddy has denied any wrongdoing. His me, he's been seen mm -hmm. at his house outside of Miami, smoking, no problem, going to eat and being filmed and all this stuff with no problem. Hanging out with Stevie J. Hanging out with Stevie J. In the studio. Doing, doing whatever he wants to do, just moving around freely like he has nothing to hide. Well, you know why that's his. And pub. also, did you hear Cassie is is working with the feds, the feds now, yeah, as well. Mm -hmm. They said she's been, they she's, that she's been. been for the yeah. last few weeks. Yeah, so I mean, I'm sure the press and everyone's like, if you hide out and you don't say anything and you don't make a move, you're gonna look guilty. People, right. you know, they're probably forcing him to be seen, keep acting like nothing. Or maybe don't. it's his clone. Oh, and maybe he oh, already went no. into hiding. Please don't start another. He's, with, he's with, in Cuba with Tupac. Yeah, he went oh, in there with. God. He's he's hanging out with the real Jamie Foxx somewhere. Oh, not the Jamie, clone one. Jamie, Tupac, and Diddy <laughs> are somewhere on an island. Anyway, guys, so the Diddy saga continues, and we'll keep you updated when more stuff happens, guys. It's the Baker <laughs> yes. Boys, and that's your Baker Buzz. Wonder if J Lo will we'll have, have any, any Diddy, Diddy dispute. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure she no, had the seeds. I'm shit. sure she probably won't though. And what do you? Uh, and What's next? and do you see what I mean? Nick V. Taylor Swift is on the Eras tour, releasing a brand new album while touring for the for the last. That's why she's on top. Yeah, I think it's the devil worshiping myself. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, SF local. Okay. Oh, uh, I got one. Where is it? Here I it is. got some more zip codes I will shout out, guys. So go ahead. Baker Boys in the morning. Shout out to 94610, 94010, and 94063. All tuned in in the morning with, with us. The brand new morning show every single day, 6 to 10 a.m. A California bill would give employees the right to disconnect when they leave the office. I thought that was a just a, you know, we do that anyway, right? <laughs> no. I mean, come on. People do, should not have access to you 24 hours a day, no matter what your job is. Well, yeah, that's for sure. Once you leave the office, the, the, the work is back there. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, Assembly Member Matt Haney from San Francisco on Monday introduced Assembly Bill 2751, which would let employees ignore calls and texts from employers after work hours. As they should. Yeah, yeah. because, you know, you are expected sometimes. Like I, I talked about this before. My sister works around the clock. Yep. She could be at dinner at 7, 8 p.m. And then somebody calls. She's like, oh, I got to get this. Or, oh, they put a Zoom call because it's hours, different hours across the country in mm -hmm. a different, you know, whatever. And it's like, 
when are you off? When is enough yeah. enough? Like yeah. even though you know we do our shows, me and Nick, I always I usually text him, hey, are you busy? Before I even just call about yeah. work related stuff, so I oh, try to be smart. respectful yeah. of his time and whatever he's doing, whether he's falling asleep during a movie or whatever he's doing. That's mm -hmm. my usual thing, probably. <laughs> so. Well, I mean, you just talked about this about how much you've been working on yeah. all your stuff earlier yeah. and how much you've been, all the hours you've been putting in behind the scenes for the Baker Boy show for content and all this stuff, the mm -hmm. live streams. And you feel like I, this week I want to take time for me. Totally. It is so important and it's good that you're realizing, Hey, hold on. I'm overdoing this. I need some me time. Yeah. So I hope this bill gets passed so that people can get back to living their lives and spending time with their families. We've got to go back to basics. Bill passed. To, to make this happen. But this will protect them so they can't get fired. <laughs> so they fired. can't get fired. I exactly. get that. Okay, mm -hmm. I get that. That's cool. Yeah. So anyway, there you go. That's the information. Thank you, Ari Rose. So Baker Boys, 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks.